Ella, Part 8 Show Me the Way It was time to get back on the road. The morning was getting underway. More grits, coffee, and medication to get things started. As they sat under the scamp's awning, sipping coffee and taking in the view, Gabby shouted, Ducks! Ella was momentarily startled. What? What? She responded as she looked around for the aforementioned ducks. No, dear. Those are geese, corrected Ella. Oh, I knew that, Gabby responded, a little embarrassed. Ella hung her head and said under her breath, Just say no, honey. Just say no. The happy couple got their fill of Wichita Falls, Texas, and today was laundry and pool day. They skipped stones on the river, swam in the campground's pool, and did laundry, where Gabby tried to fill Ella up. But porn-conscious Ella was concerned about the cameras in the laundry room, so that wasn't happening. It was fun to try, though. They finished off their last of their packing before they had to leave in the morning. When morning came, they stepped into it with enthusiasm. Gabby had a plan. Wichita Falls to Hyde Memorial State Park in New Mexico, 530 miles in 9 hours. Right. After driving for 20 minutes around the freeway that encircles Wichita Falls, they had decided to stop at the visitor center, which was open by now. They got a Don't Mess With Texas sticker, a map of Texas, and directions out of town. Even after this dizzying start, they really thought they would make it to Hyde Memorial State Park in nine hours. Dear sweet, innocent travelers that they were. Two hundred and four miles later, they were still trying to get out of Texas, Lubbock to be exact. Yes, there's a lot of land in Texas. It's the same size as that new country, South Sudan. Anyway, after being guided off the Texas 289 loop by a kind-hearted soul which manifested in the form of an angel driving a Ford F-150, they were off again, headed west to New Mexico. Gabby was still enthusiastic, but tired also. Honey, you want to stop before we get to Hyde Park? she asked. What are you talking about? questioned Ella. You've driven 338 miles already. That's more than any other day so far. I think we should rest. We've escaped Texas. Sure, babe. Just tell me which way to go. I'm ready to stop. You don't have to ask me twice. Okay, let's see what I can find. The camp book says Oasis State Park is just up the road a bit. Gabby explained further. It says here that it's just outside of a place named Clovis. That's only 40 more miles, compared to Memorial State Park, which is 193 more miles. All right, I'm sold, said Ella. We should stop and fill the gas tank and get some ice before we get off of 80 West, though. Yay, thought Gabby. She was thrilled to be getting off the road. I love you, honey. You are so easy to get along with, she sweet-talked, as she reached between Ella's legs and gave her a special hug. Sure enough, just past Mule Shoal, Texas, and six miles north of Portales, New Mexico, was the Oasis State Park. This wasn't quite what she thought an oasis would look like. Still, Gabby was pleased. She was in a state that allowed medical marijuana, and she would smoke easy tonight. To be continued. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.